So I'm happy to announce that Czech Airlines is uh, launching a new flight from Cork to Prague uh, starting 15 of May this year. Flight will be operated uh, twice a week, Friday and coming back on uh, Sunday evening. It's a perfect product for the weekend leisure uh, passengers. Uh, beside that, uh, Czech Airlines also is launching a new flight from Cork to Ibiza uh, starting from the 12th of June. All of the flights will be operating by Airbus 319 with a capacity of 144 passengers with both economy and also business product. We are a full uh, service airline, so we include in the price ticket uh, everything, baggage and all the other services included. Baggage allowance is uh, 15 kilos for the, uh, for the checked baggage. If you're a member of our frequent flyer program, you can, uh, you can check up to 23 kilos. Uh, hand baggage is up to 8 kilos. Uh, of course, if you want to use our network uh, beyond Prague, you're uh, very welcome to use it. We have a very good connectivity to Moscow, to Budapest, Warsaw, or other destinations within our network. Well, Czech Republic, the land of stories, has obviously a lot to offer. We have uh, obviously direct flights from Cork, which we're very happy about to actually open a direct gate to, uh, to Prague from this part of the region, as we only had the flights from Dublin. So we're very happy um, to show, to, to travel industry, uh, what is the Czech Republic about from here. Uh, land of stories, obviously, why are we promoting this country as a land of stories? It's because we are trying to uh, basically um, offer to um, each individual um, to basically create their own story cultural story, whether it will be story about some active holidays, whether it will be story uh, about some events, they obviously come back and share these stories with, with their colleagues. Um, Prague as a capital city is obviously the uh, number one stop for all the tourists travelling to Czech Republic, but we love to also explain to the trade that there is much more outside of the Prague. There are beautiful chateaus and castles, there are beautiful UNESCO sites, very reachable and easy reachable between, let's say, um, one hour travel on a bus or, or train. And there are obviously plenty of beautiful regions uh, where you can travel from Prague very easily by public transport, train or bus, or you can just hire a car. We love to introduce to the agents region, which is South Bohemia, which is the south part of the, of the Czech Republic with its beautiful uh, little small romantic cities. One of the most romantic places, it's a city called Chesky Krumlov. It's a really fairy tale picture square city not far away from Prague. Obviously we are this year focusing a lot for Czech Republic as a destination of romantic stories so we love to introduce to the uh, to the public and also to the travel industry uh, the type of uh, boutique hotels, little small romantic little um, hotels, uh, little spas uh, for um, holidays for couples for example. We like to introduce the Czech Republic as a great destination for honeymoons or even for their wedding to get married in Prague for example. I would like to also say um, that the festival is running in, in not just in Prague, in the entire Czech Republic, in these all small cities I was just talking about. But for example, in Prague, there is a really beautiful music festival starting very soon, which is the Prague Spring. It is a festival of uh, classical music. Um, so I would love to invite all the travel industry agents and tour operators to see that and experience it. There's obviously another very popular festival, which is the food festival, Prague food festival because we are very uh, sort of unique in our traditional um, cuisine, Czech cuisine, it's very popular. In the summer, which might be of interest for, um, for the agents and tour operators, it's a festival of beer at the Prague Castle. Obviously, you probably all know that the Prague Castle is the largest one in the world. And um, this beautiful venue or the beautiful square of the Prague Castle taking place, where, where the festival actually taking place. So um, um, a craft, uh, microbreweries um, exhibiting and, and showing the, the, the um, unique um, uh, beers uh, right at the Prague Castle. And that's in the summer in June this year.